I'm gonna do one of these impromptu video type things. Don't know if I'm gonna use the footage. We just got out of the theater and we saw Don't Breathe. My first knee-jerk reaction is to rate it a seven out of 10, right? Not that bad. I can understand why it's good for the general audience, but I'm gonna tell you as a horror fan and as I've seen like a million horror movies, I have some pet peeves with it that I wanted to share with you. My biggest pet peeve in horror movies as of late, I don't understand why we're still doing this as a genre, is choking someone out and then them being passed out for like an hour because that is not what happens. How do you know that? <laughs> it's just biology. If you're passed out for more than 60 seconds, you start to go brain dead, like brain dead. And that's one of the things I didn't bring up in Green Room because Green Room did, didn't do that. He basically choked him out and he was gone for like 10 seconds and then he woke back up because that's what happens in real life when you get knocked out, choked out, I don't know. So I had a huge pet peeve with this movie because they literally did that like 50 times where they'd like knock someone out or like choke someone out and then they'd be gone for like two hours. I don't know, however long it takes to strap someone up. Yeah, the last one was really unrealistic. That was like, stupid. She wakes up and it's like, how did you not feel your body? First of all, somehow being carried down a ladder and then down dragged the throughout the whole basement and <laughs> yes. then tied up into a harness laid on some damn pillows. Yes. The whole film in itself, at first I was like, okay, this is kind of realistic because with the violence and like the initial guy who dies, which we see in the trailer, which I wasn't a fan that they gave so much in, in the trailer. Um, well, you could tell exactly who lives from the trailer because you see yeah, the scene of her running absolutely. outside in the trailer and you're like, oh, the other two guys in this trailer must have died. Must die. And they start off with a spoiler which was interesting. They, the movie first scene starts out with the end of the movie. Mm -hmm. As, but like I said, like general population, I think would like this movie, if you're not like super critical of the horror genre, I think it's an okay movie. Um, I like the setting a lot. I just had too many issues with it. Mm -hmm. You know, like too many. She did a lot of pausing. So many, and it's like, why would you stop right now? Like, mm -hmm. you're trying to get away. Why would you just like take a quick break? Like, oh, I'm just chilling. Let me real catch quick. my breath. No. I really enjoyed the twist where he wasn't keeping that woman because she killed her, his daughter. He was yes. keeping her to get a new yes. daughter. That, I mean, spoiler alert, I already warned you guys. Anyway. The whole plot of the woman being tied up at first, I was like, this is too much plot. I wanted it to be simpler where it's just the three kids going into the house and then that's the main storyline. But then there's this woman who's trapped up and you find out it's the woman who actually killed his daughter through vehicular manslaughter. But then you find out that he actually just wants a child and so he impregnated her and she died earlier and the fetus died and so he, when he captures the new girl, like, then is trying to impregnate her. <laughs> See where she shoves the turkey baster into his mouth? I, <laughs> it was golden. I was like, oh my god. That was for shock value though, so. It definitely caught me off guard to the point where I said, oh my gosh. Like, yeah. which was cool because it wasn't like catching me off guard like the jump scares. Like, exactly. The, every time the fucking dog came on screen was a yes. jump scare. And I'm no. just like, knock I, it off. The dog, like, I get what they were going for, but they overplayed that so many times. Yeah. Like, they just overplayed the dog thing mm -hmm. too much. Like, the movie as a whole is weird because it's like, you don't know who to root for. I don't like the old yes. guy because they gave him way too much power in the film. Uh, yeah, it was like, I was like, he's blind, he's handicapped still. Like, why is he so, like, how, how can nobody have killed him by this point? Right? But then at That's the same right. time, you don't feel bad for the kids or teenagers or whatever they are because technically they broke into his house, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's like, who are we You kind of hate for? everyone the entire time. Yeah. I didn't like how they let him live at the end either. Because it's it just, was it wasn't weird. really necessary. And like, honestly, it's setting it up for a sequel, and I can call it right now that there's going to be a sequel. They're going to be in fucking California, and he's going to come around somewhere. Like, you think so? I don't know. I think they're like his, really setting it up. His story is very limited to what he can do because he is blind. But he only has power in his home. They show you that when the lights go out. Yep. In the basement, he knows how, where to turn and where everything is because he's memorized certain things. True. Which I thought that aspect was cool, like, because I feel like blind people actually do that. They memorize they things. Know their home. Yeah, but I didn't understand the whole he smelled the shoes. That really yeah. threw me for a loop because I was like, That's he was stretch. standing next to that door earlier in the movie and didn't smell them, but all of a sudden he's passing through the kitchen and he can smell their sh Are they really that fucking strong? That's the thing, is a lot of the, the details were 
written into the script to make it make it make sense. Yeah, but it doesn't make any sense at all. Mm -mm. Like they did it to make these stretches of a storyline to make things fit mm -hmm. and flow. The hallway scene in the trailer and in the film, I don't get that scene at all where the guy comes back into the house and he's in the hallway and then he like goes up against the wall because he sees the guy coming. Uh -huh. It's like he would have sensed him, heard him, felt him. Yeah. <laughs> like felt I, the wind of him. I really moving. enjoyed that scene, but I agree. The wind you definitely would have felt. Like I can feel people when, ooh, mm -hmm. what did I just press? Oh, nothing. I can feel people when they just walk by me and I don't really necessarily have to see them like when you work yeah. like when I'm at work I know when someone's standing behind yeah. me to a sense so yeah it's like it's weird because they give him all this power with his senses and knowing where everything is but then at certain times you're like okay he would have known he would have fucking known exactly. bitch it's only when it's convenient for the storyline yeah it didn't make any sense in the end at least we know how long it takes to get home from the theater <laughs> all right guys we're home let me know if you like these well Hold on. Oh, there's parking. Just kidding. Nope, just kidding. <laughs> there's no parking. We're going to talk a little bit longer. Anyway, um, while I find a parking spot. So let me know if you like these kind of impromptu movie review, like in the car, raw, just talking in the car type of review. It's not really like as in depth because I don't really get to think about it. But you get the like instant thoughts yeah, of what you legitimately Yeah, because you always thought. have that conversation when you come home from the theater with your friends or family or whatever. You always have that conversation of like, well, what do you like about it? <laughs> what is happening? What's going on here? <laughs> it is bedtime. Yeah, right. We don't go to bed till like two in the morning. I kind of feel like we're vlogging. <laughs> it it's is like, kind of like a it's vlog. It's like a vlog review. Leave your thoughts down below. Check out my Depop shop. Follow me on Instagram <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, guys, that's it. That's it for this review. Let me know what you think about Don't Breathe. I want to call it Don't Blink anyway. <laughs> what you think of Don't Breathe down below. Hope you enjoyed. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, so today is going to be kind of a random video, kind of spur of the moment. I wasn't really planning on doing a video like this, but I think it's time we talk about the ring.